Nintendo. Hey guys, it's me, Meteor, and welcome to my new Let's Play, which is Super Princess Peach. I loved this game when I played it way back in 2006. Basically, this game was marked for all kinds of sexism because of the way they represented Peach's mood swings. But if you think this is bad, you should check out that uh, Girl Gamer magazine Nintendo tried to come out with that one time. A lot of people thought that this was a game that was originally going to be a Kirby game due to the mechanics of it. And it makes sense people would think that, considering no one's actually played the game this is based off more, which is Starfy. This game has a lot of similarities to Starfy, but we'll get into that later. In the meantime, let's begin a new game. This is very fun, enjoyable, this happy good times. Not sure too many people have played it either, because it's pretty, pretty good. Let's go ahead and begin a new game. This is Mysterious Vibe Island. It is a land not far from the Mushroom Kingdom, a land rarely spoken of. For Vibe Island is said to hold great power. Bowser heard of it and built a summer villa there. Hearing of an item called the Vibe Scepter, his mind turned to Mario. Bowser! Bowser, sir! We did it! We finally found it! The legendary Vibe Scepter! What? Really? Fantastic! At last, we'll have our revenge on Mario and his annoying pals. Hey, idiot, not so loud! Oh, right, sorry, got a little carried away. Hey, you there, close that door in front of you, will ya? These walls have ears, you know. Alright, if the Paraceptor is really as powerful as they say, I'll show Mario and Co. who's boss once and for all. Qua ha ha ha! Haha, <laughs> without further ado, let's take the scepter for a test ride. You, Goomba, come here. Take this scepter to the Mushroom Kingdom and wave it in the air. Since you once lived in the Mushroom Kingdom, you'll go unnoticed. Go, minions, go and show Mario and his friends who's boss. Yeah! Okay, head in. Make me proud. Ready? I'm monitoring the Thiris Koopa Shell Seaver. Once we get the all clear through this, we charge. Not yet? There it is! Okay, troops, charge! We did it! We finally caught Mario! Yes, total success. Mission complete. Alright, fall back, troops. Bowser, sir, we did it! We finally caught Mario! Ah, nice work. About time. We also got that green guy and a mushroom-headed loudmouth. Our troops are watching them as we speak. Good, good. That scepter is stronger than I thought. I wonder what the limits of its power are. I wonder. Aha! I know! Hey, Goomba! Come here and bring that scepter with you! Oh. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Steady! Steady now! I'm sorry, Bowser. This kid's been acting a little strange. What? You idiot! What are you doing? You're going to leash the scepter's power! <coughs> But boss, what's going on? Ah, la la la! Ah. Hey Goomba, what are you doing? Ah. What? What? I feel really jolly. Gwa -ha -ha -ha. At that moment, Princess Peach returned from her walk. What? What's this? What's the hubbub? Hey, look over there! Read this! Gwahaha! You bratty mushroom losers! It's time to catch Mario! Who will save you now? If you want him, come get him! Gwahaha! What should we do? This time, Mario has been kidnapped! We can't rely on Mario this time! What are we going to do? Uh... What are we to do? It's up to us to get them back! Oh! Oh no! Please, Princess, wait! 
princess! You lad, you are all a Twitter. Use that pep and clear this room. Calm everyone down or someone's going to get hurt. Come on. Princess! You can see like a little game you can move this toad around to clear up all these people. But well, there's a little cutscene going here. Where do you think you're going? Come back! It's dangerous. You mustn't go alone. Come back, please. What? You say you must save Mario this time? So you're going after him? Hmm, are you serious? Well, I suppose you are quite capable. Still, it's far too risky to go alone. I insist you take this with you. Haha, <laughs> get it? Zelda joke? <laughs> oh ho ho, that's no ordinary umbrella. Try opening it. Hiya, I'm Perry. If you're in a pinch, just call me. Oh ho ho, I picked that up at a shop the other day. I think it's rather interesting, don't you? Ho ho ho. I think it may come in handy, so do take it with you. Hmm, so what can I do for you? What? Beating bad guys? Yes, I'm your guy! I can't stand bad guys, let me at them! Alright, here we go, I know everything about Vibe Island. And it shows you the number you have toads you've settled, but whatever. Don't care about that. I love the music here, too. And there's a lot of similarities here already to Starfy. You have your menu here, which has like extra stuff, and you have your shop, which you can't do anything about yet because you don't have any coins. But let's begin. La di da planes. La di da. And you hit these little boxes and it helps you. Most enemies can be defeated by blah blah blah. Yeah. You have your attack. And that's pretty much all you can really do right now is attack or jump on things. These coins are pretty much your currency. I don't care much about that. You'll see those hearts you can actually use to heal yourself. You can break boxes with parry as well. You don't have too many abilities with parry yet, but we'll get into that later. These coins here are worth five. These also carry coins inside of them. I like the backgrounds as well. Thinking about the backgrounds, I usually make a little frame for every world I'm in, depending on the game. But the backgrounds here are so plain, I can't really rip any, and there aren't really any ripped ones. Anyway, you see an enemy there. You jump on it, you can eat it, and it refills your vibe sept your I'm sorry, your vibe power. These little things you can pick up, throw them there, and get some coins out of it. Isn't that nice? You'll see these boxes here. You saved a toad! You can save toads as well. Now you'll see different abilities here. You can float using this one. Whee! You have fire. You have this one, which makes you cry. And I'm a lot of Vibe Scepter. Uh, well, no problem. Let's move on. These crystals restore your vibe. And this calm one here. Oh, I'm already at full health. Can't really use that one. Well, I'll show that one later. It's fine. Hmm. Yay! Pretty much eat them to restore your vibe scepter as well. You'll see different ones too, like that's an angry Goomba. Look at it, it could shake the ground, but still, doesn't do much. That's a little beyond what we could jump to, so let's go ahead and fly up in the air. Whee! Hmm, I see a lot of coins up there. Let me move over to the right. But first, let me eat you. Look at all that. Whee! I'll go up here. And float all the way up. Yay, everything's so happy. Wait, I'm still a little too far to the right. Didn't realize that. Here we go. Now, if you cry, you'll see these little plants here. Oh, I don't even need to fly up there, because it just... Oh, well, that's simple, too. Forgot about that. Either way, let's go ahead and jump up there real quick. This little bean stalk could grow using your tears. I think I believe the tears she uses is actually from all the, uh, you know, people offended by this game. She just eats those tears for breakfast. Hmm. What does that arrow mean? Ooh, there's a little note box there. Interesting. Let's go get rid of that. You got the score for Peach Voice 1. Access it under the menu at the map screen. So yeah, you'll see little 
In each level, there's one or more hidden boxes, and then three toads. You'll hear a little ding, a little chime whenever there's something nearby in the area. Let's go down this pipe first. Look at all these coins. Yay! Coins! See, that little tells you there's something nearby. Hmm, interesting. Let me go fill up my vibe real quick. Now back to full vibe. Yay! Well, I could just hit those little coins there and do that too. Drop down here. This one here is a sad Goomba. Oh, look how sad it looks. Yes, the vibe set protecting everyone, not just Peach. There's our second toad on hide. Pretty much if you didn't fall down, you might not have seen it. Because when you're above, you could not see the toad underneath you, but you wouldn't have wanted to fall down either. But there it is. Just hiding out of plain sight. Hmm, I see another chime too. And it's right there. That was hard. We got some hearts, got some vibe. There's our final toad. This is the first level, so it's nothing really crazy. Don't expect it to be. And, hmm, let me get this star. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, I, was, I was so close. I thought I had that, too. I felt like the timing was off a little bit, and it was. Oh, well. Let's move over to... Now, when you clear off everything, you find every item in the game or the level. You'll see a little star on it. Otherwise, you will just see something without a star. By the way, let's go to the shop here real quick. Now I have enough coins to do something. You can't really buy anything, but you'll notice the abilities here. Float Brilla. Brilla is the first one you want to get, and by far the most useful. It lets you float with Perry for a little bit. Pound Brilla lets you ground pound. And Charge Brilla is kind of not very useful, but still there. Yes, I'm leaving because I don't have any coins to really buy anything of worth. So there's that, and how is my DS already near low battery? Give me a second here. Alright, here we go, going back to level 2 now. Now this, as usual, ta-da! That was very simple. You could also just eat them that way. And the, what, happened to the, what happened to the Koopa? Whatever. Let's go ahead and float our way up here. Whee! And look, it looks like fall time now. You're welcome, Toad. You're always welcome. Hmm. I feel like this is actually guiding us towards something. Don't have to worry too much because your vibes, they actually have plenty of gems here for you to do this all the way across. Peach looks so happy. And there you go. Whee! That'd be a lot more fun if I could float, but I can't float yet. Oops. Oh well, no problem. There was a little heart hidden in there, which I didn't really need, because I'm already at, you know, full hearts. Whatever, no problem. I still need to show off the column at some point. Maybe I'll take damage intentionally just so I can show it off. Aw, oh, dang it. I hit the column button. You'll see a little aura go around you, and it heals your heart, but also uses your vibe as well. So be wary of that. Thank you, you could just float up there, but let's just do it the normal way and cry. Oh, poor Peach. Peach has disappeared from the screen because of the flashing thing. So there's that. Wee. Aw, oh, dang it! You know what? I need vibe anyway. Poor, poor Goombas. Just to be on long the merry way, but they'll die forever. They'll never see anyone they ever love again. Hmm, something down here. Fall down here. There's a puzzle piece. Yeah! Now you'll notice those little donut blocks there. Those fall immediately, unless you're going super fast. Now you're- now these are Paragoombas, obviously. Mad pink. Now these ones you can just walk across, fall down, and hey look! There's a toad, what a surprise! Always don't- never be afraid to go down pits, ever. Even if you go down a pit, you will never die, and I'll explain that later. Uh, like I said, the mechanics here are very similar to those of Starfy, but you'll see more prominent like that later. There's something else nearby, but I wonder what. You can also just wee slide down as well. Hmm, but there's something nearby. What's nearby? If only there was some kind of clue. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's, it's right there. That was, that was hard. I didn't have to break it that way, but I wanted to. So there. What's in here? Nothing. And that's pretty much it for now. Ah, we have a pair of Koopa now. I'm gonna grab you and eat you as well. Yay! Eating everyone alive. Aw, poor Goomba. Especially poor that you're gonna die. If I can get to you. There you go. I don't even need your health, but I took it anyway because I can. Oh, look how happy. Oh, yeah, I forgot these balance. Technically, they do that even now in the in the Mario games. Now the new Super Mario Brothers games, they kind of like hop to the beat of the music. So I feel like there's something I'm missing up here. I think I'm gonna go back around anyway, but uh, yeah, I'll be back around. No problem. We. Aw, I didn't get any points for that. Oh, I already got all the toads. I feel like I'm missing something else, too. There we go. Now, the star gives you 50, but randomly, which you'll see later, it could transform into something else, but I'll wait till it actually appears. But yep, got everything there, so now you can move on. Let's also go to the shop to get that float umbrella, because that's very useful. Yeah, let's buy it. Float umbrella is yours. You got an ability! Your umbrella will float for a bit and allow you to fly. Even that little screen thing you see there is the same as Starfy's. But anyway, let's head back. And let's go to stage three. Right away, you'll see that puzzle piece down there. You can use this, use the flame, burn the bridges down, and we can get that puzzle piece. Yay! Aren't we excited? Yay, look, we can even float now with Perry. Isn't that super useful? Very useful. Whee! I'm trying to think we can just float anyway, but whatever, no big deal. You know what? I need some vibe. We saved a toad! First one, we already have a pulse piece and a toad. Very quick. Levels do get longer and a bit more difficult. Now, thankfully, let's go ahead and cry here. I believe this actually just goes right back up to that main spot there. Oh, I guess not. Hmm. Let's see where this goes. I'm guessing it's just a bunch of coins, but still. Ta-da! See, these are regular donut blocks. They don't fall immediately. It's nothing to worry about there. And it was just some coins, so no big deal. I don't hear chimes, so there must be nothing here. Let's kill you. Out of my way, stupid Goombas. No Goombas get in my way. Now you'll see that up there. Try to go on there normally. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh. But, if you... Just wait for it to recharge. Start crying. And then you actually move quick enough to go past that. Very simple. And you're going to be using that a lot later. Just keep that in mind, it's going to be a useful thing. Now I did hear a chime here, so that's good. Let's see, can I jump on that without even... Ah, oh, dang it. Nope, not high enough. Not low enough, rather. I was kind of hoping, but no. Hooray! Aw, I should have used the shell. I could have gotten more points out of it. Could have had her reach it anyway, but either way, it's just fall down normally. Kill that Goomba. Stupid Goomba's in my way. Actually, I could probably do some vibe. Yay, coins! Now here you get, like, extra vibe. You get that. And then it's up here. Hmm. What's up there? You'll see a cloud there, just sitting there randomly. Those things will try to shoot at you. Wait, why'd I hit that for? Yeah, I get it, thanks. Now, if you use a little spinny vibe here, you just pass right through it, and we get our second to last toad, actually. Our last toad's right there. 
You're welcome, Toad. You're always welcome. Die. Back to full vibe again. Now you'll notice you can also kind of float like this too. So just float across the water, and Perry just uses like a little raft, like a little inner tube of sorts. All right, let's see if we get the little bonus here. Got it. Nope, still this regular, still this regular star. That's fine. I'm sure we'll see it eventually. And there we go! We did the first three stages. So next time in Super Princess Peach, we'll be finishing up World 1. So I will see you guys then.